We're looking at another level 2 functional skills exam question and this one's a sort of percentages, sort of um, probability question. But there's a lot of a lot of words for not a proportionate amount of marks. So let's have a let's have a read through and try and dissect what it actually wants us to do. Carol grows lilies. She reads on a blog that the probability of growing a new type of lily from seed is less than 60%. Carol thinks she can do better than this. She plants the seeds in eight trays. Each tray has 10 seeds. After a few months, Carol counts the number of lilies that have grown in each tray. The results are shown in the table. Okay, let's pause there for a sec. So in tray A, there were 10 seeds. In tray B, there were 10 seeds. In each of these, she started with 10 seeds, because it says here she plants the seeds in eight trays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each tray has 10 seeds. So if we look at this column for tray A, she started with 10 seeds, she grew five. In column B, she started with 10 seeds and grew seven. That's, that's how this works. All right, Carol wants to use the total number of lilies grown to evaluate her results. Compare Carol's overall results with the 60% probability given in the blog. Okay, so how many seeds did she plant in total? And we want to know if she grew more than 60% or less than 60% of that amount. So in total, over to the calculator, she planted ten. She planted eight trays, and each tray had ten seeds in it. So she planted eight lilies in total, eighty seeds in total. And out of all the eighty seeds she planted, she grew uh, five from tray A, seven from tray B, seven from tray C, none from D, uh, seven from E, six from F, eight from G, four from H. Okay. So out of eighty seeds that she planted she grew 44 lilies and we need to know how that compares to the 60% probability given in the blog. Well is 44 higher or lower than 60%? If we find what 60% of 80 is then we'll know. So finding 60% of 80 I think the nicest, well the most the way I like to do this is you take your number, your original number and divide it by 100 and whatever your answer is that's 1%. But remember we're not looking for 1%, so there's something extra we'll have to do afterwards. But let's take it one step at a time. On my calculator, 80 divided by 100. Okay, so if she'd have only uh, grown 1%, that would have been 0 0.8 lilies, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're going to multiply it up. So 1% of her lilies is 0 0.8 uh, lilies, but we're looking for 60%, not 1%. So I need to take my 1%, and times it by 60. If I was looking for 10%, I times it by 10. If I was looking for 15%, I times it by 15. I'm looking for 60% of 80. So I take my 1% and times it by 60. 48. Okay, let's write that down. We're doing 0 0.8 times 60, which is 48. Now I want to make sure I also get all the working out marks. I want to write it down for you and I also want to put it down in my working out box. So we did 80 I'll do it on my calculator actually. Sorry to go back. We did 80 divided by 100 to get 0 0.8, copy to working out box, and then we did 0 0.8 times 60 to get 48, copy to working out box. Okay, so we've done, we've done some math stuff. Let's talk about what it means. We've found 60% of 80, so if she had grown 60% of her seeds, she'd now have 48 lilies. However, she's only got 44 lilies. So has she grown more or less than 60%? So 60% would be 8, 48. She's only grown 44. So she's grown fewer li lilies than 60%. So let's write something down in our answer box to make sure we get some marks for this as well. Compare Carol's overall results with the 60% probability given in the blog. Well, we know, just from our calculations, that Carol... Let's spell her name right. Carol grew... 44 out of 80 seeds, which is less than 60%. Because 60%, as we've said, 60% of them would have been 48. She only grew 44. So on to the next part of the question. How could Carol use the information in the table, her table here, to claim that she did better than 60%? If we look at all these different trays, some of them actually did do better than 60%. 
So she started with 10 seeds in each tray and 60% of 10 would have been 6 lilies. So if she'd have grown 6 lilies in each of these trays then she would have done 60% but some of them actually did better than that. So if we look at some of these in particular, if we look at uh, B, C, E and G, they all did a lot better than 60%. This is 70%, 70%, 70% and 80%. So how could Carol use the information in the table to claim she did better than 60%? Well, if she's careful, if she chooses the right ones, if she chooses a sample of her trays, some of them grew more than 60%. Hmm. I think I need to work on my grammar a little bit there, but I think that makes sense. If she chooses a sample of her trays, then some of them grew more than 60%. I think I've also spelt choosers wrong. If she chooses a sample of her trays, some of them grew more than 60%. Uh, some of them grew lilies. Oh, yes, that's fine. If she chooses a sample of her trays, some of them grew more than 60%. You, you, you understand the gist. Something that gets that point across uh, is going to get you the mark for that question. So for the three marks for the first part of the question, we had to find out how many lilies she grew and determine whether that was higher or lower than 60%. Uh, she grew 44 out of 80, which was less than 60%. And for the second part of the question, we then had to work out uh, a way that she could uh, f claim that she was doing better than 60%. And if she chose some of her trays, they did do better than 60%. But for this question, that's what we need to do to get the four marks.